Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm excited to be sharing with you a hair tutorial on how to refresh an old blowout. So if you're like me, you only want to dry your hair as little as possible because we're lazy and we just don't want to do it. So I washed my hair, I think it was Saturday, and it's now Wednesday evening, and I don't plan on washing it again until probably like Friday maybe for the weekend. Um, so yeah, I'm showing you how to keep your style looking fresh and good without having to go through with a flatter and make it lay really flat or feel like you need to pull it up in a ponytail. Um, this way you can kind of just like keep a nice style wearing it down, so keep some volume in there, add back some shine, some hydration, all of that good stuff. So if you guys are interested to see how you can refresh your old glow out at home, be sure to keep watching. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, that way we can be friends and you can be notified whenever I upload new videos. And also you can follow me on Instagram so we can chit chat over there as well. I share daily fashion inspo as well as beauty tips and lifestyle. And I think that's it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. Okay, so to get started, the first thing that I like to do is obviously use a dry shampoo. Hands down, my top two are the Kerastase and the Orbe. Currently, I've been using the Kerastase. I love it. It's the Fresh Affair. It's their new one. Um, it's got vitamin E in it and rice starch, so it really helps to absorb the oil. It doesn't leave behind any type of nasty, gritty residue. It just feels really clean. So when I get up in the morning, I'll just kind of spritz this through section by section. Um, definitely get like around your hairline, even the nape of the neck. And I will let this sit while I'm doing my makeup so it's good like 10 minutes or so. Just don't touch it, let it absorb and do its thing. So I feel like a lot of people tend to brush through it really quick and it doesn't give it time to absorb. You can also use this the night before. Um, that way as you sleep, it'll start to absorb the oil. As a hairstylist, I feel like a lot of my clients either A, tell me they wash their hair every day because they can't get their hair to do what they want or they go a couple days but they just use a flat iron to touch it up and I just feel like that really damages your hair but it makes it really flat and just stuck to your head. So I'm gonna show you some tips on how to keep that volume and that blowout look in your hair without having to redo the whole head. So the first thing is definitely start with your dry shampoo. Next, um, let it sit for a little bit. I'm probably not gonna let it sit as long just because I'm in the middle of filming a video but you get the idea. Typically you let it sit for 10 minutes Take a brush, this is Mila's little heart-shaped wet brush, to brush through it. I have the hand tied extensions. I feel like I've told you guys that. I'm getting them moved up tomorrow. They are definitely overgrown and hanging low right now, but we're gonna make do. Um, let me know in the comments down below if anybody would like to hear like my thoughts on hand tied extensions and kind of the maintenance. Cause I know they're super popular right now and after wearing them now since about March. I feel like I could definitely give you guys like a good review. I also install them at our salon as well. All right, so just brush through the hair. Typically when I wake up in the mornings, I don't know if I sleep on top of my head or what I'm doing, but my hair's naturally curly. And when I wake up, it just, you know some people wake up and it's like cute I envy you. Like, I do not know how you wake up and have cute hair because mine's always just like sticking up. It's like curled up right here. Weird kinks in my ends. So, I always have to go back and restyle my hair. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First things first, I'm going to use my round brush and a blow dryer. If you don't have that, if you don't have a round brush, I recently did a review on the Revlon round brush blow dryer in one. You could also use this. It's a great option to refresh blowouts if you're not coordinated with both hands. So I'm going to take my blow dryer and you're basically just going to be re-round brushing parts of your head. So what I do is I flip all of this over and I'm going to put my round brush literally right against my scalp because you can see this like major curl happening right here. Um, I want to get that smooth again. And just like I say in all of my blow dry tutorials, get that nozzle really close to the brush as you pull out, just like that. So 
and you can see just doing that really helped to reshape my bangs. I have movement to them. I have a little bit more body to them. The dry shampoo helped it not to look greasy around my hairline. And I literally don't think anybody would ever know that I didn't just wash my hair today. So now I'm going to focus on relifting my crown because if you're like me, it just like totally splits down the back and that's not cute. So we're going to basically take this section, put our round brush under it, and we're going to be drying this away. You really want to take it a step further. You can take a hairspray. This is the Air Control by Aveda, and just kind of give it a good little spritz so that it doesn't want to separate. And then I'm going to go down one more section and do the same exact thing. Okay, so we've got more body and movement in through the crown again. And then lastly, I just have to smooth my ends out in the morning because they're always crazy. So you can see I was doing like a little flip like movement in there. So I like to put the brown brush in hit it with the blow dryer, and then I twist it and do the end straight. And if you curled your hair the night before, the day before, that's gonna just kind of keep that curl pattern in there because I don't want to totally straighten it. I'm just trying to like re-smooth it out. So this is what we're left with. All right, so the last thing that I like to do is just re-enhance my curls in case I need it. Like this one's totally straight. This one has like a little, not really, they're both pretty straight. Yeah, I like to go back in and just kind of like re-enhance my curl. So this is like super quick. And when I do this during the weekday, like I can do my hair in like five to seven minutes. But yeah, I just like to curl it, pull them ends out. I always do my bangs first because I'm kind of picky with like the amount of bang that I actually get in there. Pull it out. And then do the same thing here. And I basically am just going through and like reframing around my face and like picking out any pieces that need to be reshaped. You don't have to go through and recurl your whole entire head every single time. Like I'm basically just real quickly, not speeding this up. This is actually how quick I do it. So I've been stressing out because I bought Mila's Halloween costume literally like October 5th on Etsy and it's like what is it today the 21st so Halloween's like literally next week and I just went and I'm like it has not even been shipped yet like I'm stressed out that it's not going to be here so yesterday I like texted my husband because I work all day on Monday and Tuesdays in the salon like 8 30 to 8 so I can't do anything on those days so I was like, can you please see if you can find like a last minute poppy Halloween costume because she wants to be poppy from Trolls. And he found one on Amazon. It's probably going to be here today. At the same time, I like messaged my Etsy girl and she messaged me back and she's like, oh yeah, I just finished working on yours. I think you'll get it in time. So I feel like they're just like, it's just going to be a matter of time as to like when it comes in. <laughs> And what she's gonna end up wearing but either way she'll be poppy it may not be like the cute little handmade one like I thought although I hope it is I'll keep you guys updated just to make sure this doesn't part I like to take my little rat tail comb and we are going to back comb and I'm gonna set it with that hairspray And then I like to come around on each side and do it as well. I like big hair. I live in North Carolina. So if you don't like big hair, just do a little less. But I think a little teeth always does good. Unless your hair just never splits down the back. But when you're on day three, day four, day five, I feel like everybody's hair has to split. If yours doesn't, you're just really lucky. All right, so the last thing I wanna show you guys, once we've gone through and curled it, added our little bit of tease, 
You can put some spray up here. If your ends tend to dry out, I really love the Kerastase Elixir Ultine. This is an amazing oil. You can use it as like a treatment oil, sleep with it in your hair, put it on your skin. Um, I like to kind of put this through my ends because as the days go on and we don't wash our hair, our roots get oilier, but our ends get drier. So this is really gonna help to just add back some shine to the hair. And I also have a product I've been loving to use at night. Let me show you guys. I'm literally almost out of it. But if you feel like when you sleep, your ends just get really dry, maybe you have highlights in your hair and your highlights just feel like really dry when you wake up or your hair doesn't lay smooth, this is by Kerastase as well. I'm almost out of it. I need to get some more. This is an eight hour magic night serum. And I love this because it, I, all right, it actually comes out like a cream. I just shot that all across the floor. And it's so lightweight that you can just like put it in even the finest pieces in the front. It's gonna just like recondition your hair, make it lay nice and smooth, give you lots of shine. And it overall has really helped my front pieces to grow. Like my front pieces always tend to stay right here. I know I mentioned in my last video, I always have like some sort of curtain bang, but it's just cause my front never really grows. But I can see the biggest difference after using this. Like my ends, my bangs are actually down my chin and they still feel healthy. So I think we're gonna continue to grow those and get some more length on them, but yeah. I just love these two products for reconditioning. If you're not a fan of oil, because maybe your hair is fine, I would highly recommend the 8 Hour Magic Night Serum. Even though it says serum, it's more of a cream base and it absorbs immediately into the hair. If you do love the feeling of like adding back an oil for some extra shine and smoothness, I love the Kerastase Elixir Oil Team. So I will link all of these down below. So that is it. Super quick, easy way to just refresh a nice blowout. So next time you wake up and your hair looks crazy, don't just rush into washing it. Like find a dry shampoo that you like. I really recommend the Kerastase one. Um, and just kind of reshape it with your round brush and you can throw some curls in there if you need to. But I love doing this. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.